So the easiest is if your mat is in this direction, but I think you all have that, so that's cool. And then you can come into a seated position, cross-legged or kneeling. I, I always love to sit on something. And we'll simply sit still in meditation, just checking in with our bodies, our minds, our hearts. And if meditation is new to you, just focus on your breath. Notice your breath. So find your seat. Take a deep breath into the nose. A sigh out of the mouth. Close your eyes and sit still. Pay attention to the breath. Deepen the breath. Lengthen the breath. You can count the breath around four to six counts to breathe in. Four to six counts to breathe out. Today's practice th could be themed in, a, in yeah, the intention that we set for our week yesterday, which is to honor the space between what is no longer and what is not yet. So honor the space between no longer, the past, and not yet, the future. Meaning we are in the present and we, we you know, sometimes when we live, we are always moving from place A to B, A to B, A to B. Well, what about the space in between? It also means that we try to just live in the present. The no longer, the past, we try to let go of. The not yet, the future, we also try not to have too many expectations because it is in general uncertain and unknown what the future holds. We've all had to practice that to another level lately. But can we just be grateful for today, grateful for each breath, be in the moment, and it's a difficult thing to do. It is very hard to not linger in the past and not expect things from the future. The mind tends to do that. So if it does that, don't judge yourself, but just notice it and go like, hey, does this serve me to hold on to the past or to worry too much about the future? Rather than just being in your, in your body, in your day, today, today is today, each breath is a gift. So that could be a theme for today's practice, which we can also practice on our mat. Meaning that you're not only moving, okay, this is warrior two, this is warrior one, like the, the poses become your goals, but let the space in between your poses also be important. How do you transition from one place to the next? What goes on in your mind when you do so? 
So let's place the hands together in front of the heart, a gesture of opening our practice, maybe set an intention that is linked to that theme, a dedication to someone in need, and also an acknowledgement of each other. So we're today practicing from people from Croatia to Germany to South Africa to Dubai, how wonderful that we are breathing and moving together as one, even though we are not physically in the same space. Thank you for trusting me and, and letting me guide you through this practice. Let's bow our head towards our fingertips. And today we, meet, we start on our backs very differently. So just roll onto your back and then hug your knees into chest and bring your elbows down to the floor, create fists. That can be your anchor, so your upper body is nicely grounded, shoulder blades stay grounded, and then you slowly bring the knees over to the right and the left. If you have a sensitive lower back, just make the movements smaller. Engage your core to stop your legs from falling all the way to the side. Breathe in and breathe out nice and slow, just loosening up the spine. Take two more rock and rolls. Come to the center, hug your knees back into the chest. Right knee in, left foot flat onto the floor, quite close to your buttocks. Hug your right knee in towards your chest, a soft wind removal pose. <clears throat> this is an all level class, but you can decide what you do and what you don't do. There's no judgment, there's no competition. It's just breathing and, and, and moving. All right, place your right foot down next to the left and do a little soft bridge pose. Soft bridge pose, just notice the lower back, the activating hamstring active. Take one more deep breath in. Ripple the spine, middle upper back, middle back, lower back. Hug your knee, left knee in towards your chest. <coughs> Excuse me. Right heel is flattened to the floor. Take another breath in here. Left foot back down. Inhale, lift your hips. Soft bridge pose. Hold your bridge pose. Notice the maybe sensations on the front of the hips, the hip flexors. Breathe in here. Ripple the spine, vertebra, vertebra down to the floor. Last round. Inhale a little bit quicker. Hug and squeeze that right knee into chest. Exhale, bring the left, right foot down. Inhale, lift your hips up and away from the floor. Exhale, round the spine, vertebra, vertebra, vertebra back down. Inhale here. Squeeze the left knee in towards your chest. Exhale. Take a breath in, glaze your left foot back down, exhale, bridge pose, breathe in, ripple the spine, vertebra by vertebra, breathe out. Hug your knees both back in towards your chest and then start to create little rock and rolls forward and back over your spine, warming up the body, bringing some more energy up uplifting energy and come into a forward fold. Maybe you don't need your hands. Feet are hip width apart, ragged doll. Let your head be heavy. You can softly bend the knees, specifically if you have a sensitive lower back. We'll do sun, sunflowers. So lift your chest over to the right side. Lift that left elbow, stand up, you're still holding on, and then bend the knees, softly land. So you're creating circles. Two more circles on this side. Inhale to lift your body up. Soft bend in the knees, creates a little bit more space. Let your head be heavy. One more time to this side. Once you're at the bottom, pause, take a breath in, feel the symmetry. Switch the arms the other direction, so it's the other arm that comes forward. And then we do three circles to the other side. So breathe in to come up, feel free to close your eyes and notice the sensations of stretching, any sensitivity in the body. 
inhale and feel the spaces in between so there's no real shape here it's just movement and in yoga in the end it's also just movement from one place to the next and it's the places in between that are important as well fold forward drop the hands to the floor interlace your hands at the level of your bum behind your back and then stretch your arms towards the ceiling Pressing the knuckles up towards the sky and then shake a soft no with your head. Soft no with your head, open up. High mountain, rise, stand all the way up, arms above your head, palms together, hands to heart center, samastitihi. It's okay if the feet are hip width apart, don't worry. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Soft bend in the knees, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Feel the spaces in between, so feel how you lift your chest, which muscles activate. And then step back to plank pose, hands to the floor, top of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Index fingers parallel to each other, spread the fingers nice and wide. Take a deep breath in here. We meet on our belly, you can use your knees to come all the way down. Interlace your hands at the base of the spine and lift your chest. Press your toenails into the floor. Lift the knees so the legs are active. Legs are active, neck in line with the rest of the spine. Take a breath in and lift another set of ribs off the floor. Lovely back bend. Exhale, nose to the floor, hands next to your rib cage. Slide your knees a little in so you can lift your tummy off the floor. Press into your hands, inhale, child's pose, exhale, hips to heels. Take three rounds of breath in child's pose. Feel free to close your eyes and bring ujjayi breath in if that is part of your practice. We're breathing in and out of the nose, slight restriction in the back of the throat. Inhale, come to tabletop. Tuck your toes. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, look up. Tailbone comes up. Hovering cat. So your toes are tucked. You cat stretch and you hover your knees just off the floor. Look at the knees and bring them down at the same time. That is not easy. <laughs> Relax your toes. Inhale, cow stretch. Tuck your toes. Hovering cat stretch. Two more like that. Look at your knees now. Let them land at the same time. So it's the spaces in between that are important as well. The past is the past. The future will be. Let's just be in our bodies with our breath, with our thoughts. One more time. Inhale. Tuck and hover. Exhale. Walk to a full plank pose. Hands to the top. There we are. Take a deep breath in. Downward facing dog, first down dog of the day. Just notice, look at your hands. So that's alignment. Alignment we do with our thinking brain. We use the brain and then we, once we're in that space, stop thinking and just feel. Focus on feeling, the stretch in the back line of the legs, the bum, the back. And getting into a feeling space, it's really easier when you focus on the breath. Ripple the spine, so you lift your heels, roll, 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 each vertebra forward, and then we come into a hanging cobra. Your legs are really strong. The stronger the legs, the more your back is protected. Press the heels back. Take a deep breath in, right knee to your nose, exhale. Step back into a hanging cobra, really activate the legs, feel the quadriceps, lift your kneecaps, Left knee to your nose, exhale. Hanging cobra, inhale. Right knee to your nose, exhale. Three legged dog, hips stay square. Take a deep breath in, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, three legged dog, lengthen. Step the foot in between your hands, exhale. Crescent moon, keep your back toes tucked. Take a breath in, left knee is down, arms are up, hold for three rounds of breath. You can lift your gaze a little. So the crescent moon is that little, little line of moon, that little C kind of shape. And that's the, bar, the shape you're making now with your body. 
Take a deep breath in. Pyramid pose. Hands down. Lift the left knee. Extend both legs. Three rounds of breath here as well. Soften your shoulders. Soften the neck. Pay attention to your breath. Step forward, bend the knees, halfway lift, inhale, and then bring your toes together, fold forward, exhale, rise all the way up, high mountain, arms above your head, lovely yogis, hands to heart center, exhale, high mountain, breathe in, arms rise, bend the knees, fold forward, exhale, dive forward, halfway lift, inhale, plank pose, exhale, Take a deep breath in, downward facing dog, full stretch. In downward facing dog, it's more important to have a straight back and then have straight legs. So if your knees are slightly bent, that's fine. Energetically press the heels down, maybe close your eyes. Take two more rounds of breath. Ripple, so you start with the heels, it's like domino. Each vertebra, tap, 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 tap. Has an effect on the other hanging cobra. Important to have strong legs here. Breathe in. Look at the horizon. Left knee to your nose. Exhale. Step back. Hanging cobra. Strong legs. Press your heels back. Open the heart. Right knee to your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Hanging cobra. Strong. Give a smile on your face. Left knee to nose. Three-legged dog. Lift your leg all the way up. Knee to nose again, move the body all the way forward. One more time, breathe in, look forward, step the foot in between your thumbs. Keep your right toes tucked, crescent moon, interlace your hands and add a little bit of the back bend by looking up. Looking up, looking up, reaching through the fingers, keep breathing. Take another deep breath in here. Pyramid pose, hands down to the floor, lift your right knee, extend your left leg, let your head be heavy, connect back to the breath and vacuum your navel a little in towards the spine. So rather than letting the belly hang out here, can you flatten the belly a little bit more core engagement. Look forward, inhale, step forward, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Chair pose, Utkatasana. You can bring your toes together or your feet can be hip width apart. It doesn't matter. Just really sit down into your little chair. Yeah, reach the arms next to your ears. Take a deep breath in and then fly your chair. Heels of the floor, straight spine. Hold and breathe. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Heels a little higher. Bum a little lower, heart a little higher. Active fingers for three, two, fold forward, dive forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, step to downward, facing dog, exhale. If you're not sure about down dog, you can always quickly measure a full plank pose. Keep the hands and the feet where they are and create a full stretch. That's just one variation. Ripple the spine forward again. Breathe in. Hanging cobra. Breathe out. Inhale here. Right knee to your nose. Exhale. Three-legged dog. Lengthen the leg all the way behind you. Step the foot in between your hands. Warrior one feet. Step the left foot a little out and a little wider. First feel the grounding through the feet and then bring the arms up towards the sky. You can still readjust your feet, open the heart, and you're wrapping that left hip a little forward. So you're aiming to have your hips parallel to the short edge of your mat, which is impossible because your left heel is grounded, but that's what you're energetically trying to achieve. Take another breath in here. Feel the strength of the legs, interlace your hands behind you, exhale. Inhale, lift your gaze, lift your heart. Wonderful. Humble warrior, right elbow on the inside of the right knee. Let your head be heavy. Maybe bring that right knee a little bit more. 
Easy twist. Left hand down, left heel lifts, right arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath in here. Skandasana all the way to your left foot. Exhale. So your left foot is turned out, knee is bent, right foot is active. Skandasana over to your right leg. Skandasana over to your other leg. Stop all rise, stand all the way up. Breathe in, sit down into hoes and we'll do some pranayama, some tai chi breathing. So you inhale here, you open the heart, lift your gaze and then you exhale to hug a tree. You can wrap your fingers around your own shoulder blades. Now bring your arms up to the sky, reach up and then ground and bring your hands through center and sit a little deeper. One more time, open up, open your wings, open the heart, keep your tailbone slightly tucked and then hug yourself round like a cat stretch. Reach to the sky, oh beautiful, and then ground on Mother Earth. Lovely. Star pose, extend arms, extend legs to the right foot, warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior once, breathe in. Wimble your hands back down to the floor, lift your left heel. Step forward, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Fold forward, dive forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Fly your arms behind you, exhale. Keep your heels up, reach the arms next to your ears. Focus your eyes for three, two, crow pose so you can open the knees to the side. Bring your hands down to the floor. Knees can come to the outside of the arms. Look further away than you think. It's a seesaw. It's a seesaw. It's not so much like, oh, I'm strong and flexible. It's patience and then just feel the space in between. The space in between is also often the process of learning. Once you've got it, you got it. It's a journey. It's a journey towards learning something. Can we be curious and excited about maybe trying something new? Knees can also come to the back of the arms. Take another four, five rounds of breath to play, to smile, to fall, to breathe. <laughs> Take another deep breath in. Let's meet in a forward fold, Uttanasana. Now bring your, in, interlace your hands and bring them at the base of your skull. You're not pushing or anything, you're just letting everything hang forward. Remember you can bend the knees if that feels nicer for your lower back. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Downward dog, feet down, hands down, lift tailbone. Take a deep breath into the nose. Sigh it out. Ripple the spine forward. Take your time here. Acknowledge each vertebra. Inhale. Hanging cobra. Exhale. Hold. Breathe in. Left knee to your nose. Breathe out. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Active left toes. Step the foot in between the thumbs. Hold here. Warrior one feet. Step the right foot a little out. Round. There you go. Once the feet are grounded, you can start to lift your chest. Wrap the right shoulder, wrap the right hip forward. Left knee points straight forward. And then feel the strength in the legs and the sense of lightness in the upper body. Add that back bend. Take another deep breath in. Maybe look up to the sky. Interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, lift up. Open the collarbones. Broaden the chest. Fold into humble warrior. Exhale. Lift the hands up to the sky. Let your head be heavy. And now you're still active from the core. Right hand down. Easy twist. Lift the heel. Lift the left arm up to the sky. Skandasana over to the right foot. All the way. Turn it out. Flex the left. Skandasana to your left foot. Skandasana, lift it, open the hips, star pose, toes out, stand all the way up, horse, hands to heart center, sink a little deeper. There we go, our Tai Chi breathing, open the wings, inhale, and give yourself a hug, exhale, chin to chest, rise, 
Arms only, inhale, keep the legs bent, and then sink a little deeper. Woo! One more time, inhale, reach to the fingers, give yourself a hug, notice each breath, and just the arms to the sky, and then ground, look how strong you are. Star pose, extend the legs, extend the arms, have a smile on your face, look at the left foot, warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, left arm up to the sky, follow the fingers with your eyes, and bring your hands back down, lift your right heel. Step forward, inhale, halfway lift, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Rise, high mountain, arms come up to the sky. To the right, half moon variation, one hand up, one hand down. Breathe in, high mountain, Breathe out, half moon variation. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Bend the knees, fold forward, dive forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down into your little chair. And this time, we fly our chair. You can interlace your hands behind you. And if you want, do a diver's pose. Nose goes closer to the floor. Take your time here. It's a process of learning. The space is in between. We uh, Sometimes we're so goal orientated that we forget that working towards something is also super fun. It's almost like when you go on holiday and you forget that the road trip is also part of your holiday. Yeah, nice. Heels lift, bum higher, fabulous. Heels down, arms up, high mountain, inhale, one back, back bend, exhale, cactus the arms, look up to the sky, reach back up, breathe in, high mountain, bend your knees, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders, let's flow, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, step to downward dog, hands down, feet to the back of your mat. Ripple the spine forward, vertebra by vertebra, plum, 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 plum. Exhale, hanging cobra. Hold for the inhale, right knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog, lengthen. Warrior one feet, step the right foot as far forward or help it. Ground, inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your buttocks. Lift the heart, breathe in. Humble warrior. And now you can take a variation here. So one variation is a toppling tree where you bring the weight into the right leg, you lift your left. Another variation is to let go of your interlace, bring the right arm under the right leg, place the hand flat. I have my thumb and my index finger hugging my heel, and then you can also try to come into a one-legged balance. I find this one trickier than the other. Just take a little bit of play time there. Let's meet in those warrior one legs. Left hand down, right arm up to the sky, breathe in, side plank. Left hand down, excuse me to turn my back. You can come into a full side plank, supported side plank. You can hold the knee, a tree pose variation, lift the leg, there's so many options. And they're all fine, they're all fine. Hold your side plank for three. The challenge here is to step your right foot back to the top of your mat in slow motion. Look at the top of the mat. In slow motion, step the right foot, hover, 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 and all the way down. Yee! Look forward, inhale, well done, nice landing. Skandasana to the left leg, exhale. Good. Skandasana over to your right leg. One is bent, one is extended. Skandasana to the other side. Rise to a standing, star pose. Sit down into horse, exhale. Open the arms, maybe with your eyes closed now. You know where we're going. You don't need to see, you can just feel. Hug yourself, keep the knees bent, reach the fingers up to the sky. And then ground the hands through center and sink a little deeper. 
One more time, open the wings, inhale, exhale, hug yourself. Inhale, reach fingers up to the sun, the moon, the stars, the universe, and then ground on the earth. Open eyes, star pose, breathe in to the right leg, warrior two, exhale. Such nice concentration, reach back, reverse warrior. Now a half moon, so your right hand can come onto a block if you have a block. Left hand stacks on top, or left hip stacks on top of the right. You can reach your left fingers up to the sky. Keep your eyes focused. For three, expand a little bit through the left toes, through the crown, through the fingers, and grow a little taller. Take one more deep breath in. Shiva squat, hook the left knee behind the right. Inhale, hands to heart center. Find your balance. Hold. Take another deep breath in here. Cross your left ankle behind your right. Cross-legged crow this time. So the feet are crossed. What that does is that it is, for, it's, for some it's easier to lift because you can first lift your left toes. You're still on the right toes. And then the back of the right ankle presses into the left leg. Hold for three. Two. Feet back down, fold forward, relax. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Walk your hands to the right side for a lovely lateral stretch. Notice the sensations on the left side of the body. Let your head be heavy, maybe close your eyes. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Just bring your feet next to each other, fold forward. Rise, high mountain, inhale, hands above your head, hands to heart center, exhale. Utkatasana, breathe in. Fly your chair, breathe out. Arms just next to ears, inhale. Twist over to the right, maybe looking forward still, exhale. Lovely focus. Wobbly, wobbly. Inhale. Over to the other side. Exhale. Breathe in. Utkatasana. Fold forward. Relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale. Halfway lift. Lengthen. Plank pose. Hands down. Feet to the back of the mat. Down dog. Three rounds of breath. A bit of play time. I love giving you an opportunity of some self-practice within the practice. Sometimes we are a little goal-orientated and it's not a bad thing either. Like, oh, I've been practicing handstands. I've been practicing maybe dolphin or pinchy. You've got around a minute to play. If you like play, what do I do in play time? Child's pose can be an option. Or donkey kicks are quite fun. I'm sure the... Little, the German girls in Croatia are going to laugh in that kitchen. Just make sure you don't kick each other. But these are your donkey kicks. Just some play time. Yeah, press your legs up. Hop, 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 hop. Try to lift. Yeah, nice. Look in between your thumbs. Try really to kick. So you're not just lifting, you're also kicking your heels towards your bum. Kick your heels towards your bum. Yeah, so Julia, once the feet are off the floor, Hug the heels to bum. So you bend the knees more. Bend the knees. So you're keeping your legs straight. Bend. <laughs> For three, two, nice. Downward facing dog. Deep breath into the nose. Sigh it out. Woo. Shifting energy. Take three rounds here. Just to feel what that did to you. A little bit of activation of the muscles, a little bit of scary, it's scary to stand on your hands. So just give your central nervous system an opportunity to reassess, reset. 
All right, ripple forward, forward, forward. Take a breath in, hanging cobra, breathe out. Inhale here, left knee to your nose, exhale. Three-legged dog, lengthen. Step the foot in between your hands, set up for warrior one legs. Rise to a warrior one, breathe in. Interlace your hands behind your back, breathe out. Still wrapping the right hip forward, lift the heart, broaden the chest. Humble warrior, left um, shoulder on the inside of the left knee. We've been here before, choices are staying, staying and just surrendering the brain. You can come into a toppling tree, bring your right foot a little closer and lift the right leg. Or do the same thing with a half bind. So your left arm is bound. Sometimes it's easier to keep your right hand on the, on the bum. Or you can reach that right arm up. Drishti is active. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Wherever you are, easy twist. Right hand down, left arm up, re-find your feet. Breathe in here, flatten right palm, side plank. Left leg up to the sky, play with it. Toe hooks are nice. It is easiest if the right foot is fully grounded. For a long time, I used to do side plank on the pinky side of my foot. But it's not a very big surface, so if you manage, if you're flexible in your feet and you can ground the right foot, it, everything becomes a little bit more spacious. You've got more opportunity to play. Your challenge, bring that foot down so look where the foot is going. Okay, I'm going to land it there. I'm going to land it there in slow motion, slow motion, in wobbling, in embracing, in hovering, and soft landing fingertips. Look forward, inhale, to the right foot, Skandasana, exhale, flex the left guys, so look at the left foot, make sure that foot is active, Skandasana over to the other side, open up, one more time to the right, star pose, turn your toes out, arms come up, side out, hands to heart, center, sit low, two times, inhale, reach the fingers, Expand your energy. Exhale, chin to chest. Even tuck your tailbone more. Keep the legs low. Just the arms reach up to the sky. All the opportunity this day has to give. And then bring it in and feel the strength. One more time. Let's open our hearts so we can connect with other lovely people. And then you can also hug yourself. A sense of self-love. Inhale to all that this day has to give. Exhale, let us stay centered and grounded. Star pose, arms reach up. Look at the left foot, warrior two. Exhale, wonderful transition, yogis. Nice, your landing. Reverse it, take a deep breath in. Half moon. And that's the cool thing with yoga. We can have all different levels. Whether you've been practicing for a day or whether you've been practicing for years, we can practice together. It's just a matter of accepting where you're at and just trying. Embracing the space in between of the no longer and the not yet. Embracing that it's a journey or just learning new things. Not too much pressure. Just try. Just try and fall and wobble. All right, let's expand, expand, expand. Take another deep breath in here. Shiva squat, exhale, rook, right knee behind left. If you can, hands to heart center, find your balance and hold. Deep breath in here, fold forward, right foot slides behind your left foot. Inhale, halfway, cross-legged crow, so open the knees to the side a little. Heels lift, your toes are starting to face each other a little more. Bend the elbows and it's about shifting forward. So it's not so much about up or down, it's bringing the weight from the feet to the hands. From the feet over to the hands. Focus. If you can see your hands, you're looking too much down and then I'd rather suggest for you to look more forward. 
In my peripheral view, I can see my fingers, but I can hardly see my, see my hands. All right, take one more deep breath in. Lovely. Cross it. Fold forward. Relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale. That was great. Well done for trying. Walk your hand over to the left side. And now try to relax your head. Your head is a lot of weight. I always forget exactly how many kilos, but your head, well, well, head is actually responsible for a lot of weight. I think two or something. Quite a lot. Two, three kilos. It's because we're so smart. Inhale, halfway lift, come back to the top of your mat, fold forward, both feet together. Rise, high mountain, inhale, last little challenge, dancer's pose. So come and stand onto your left foot, find your balance on the left foot, bend the right, the thumb is pointing up, so there's an openness here in your right armpit. Some people turn the shoulder in and then it drops. So keep it open, hold on. Let's do 45 seconds. There we go. Kick the leg behind you. Now in the beginning, your gaze will be down and you're reaching your fingers forward. When you want to embrace more of the shape, more of the lift, you'll have to put your gaze to the horizon and your hands are going to reach up more. Rather than reaching forward, they also start to reach up diagonally towards the ceiling. If you fall, that's fine. Keep breathing. Dare to go to the edge. You've got 10 seconds. Wonderful. Slowly control back. Woo! Love it. Other side. Set yourself up, step onto your right foot, feel the grounding. Take your time to set up, take a breath in and off you go, 45 seconds. Commit to the wobbling, to getting more stable in your joints, to getting more focused and concentrated through just doing this task. Stay with the breath. Where is your edge and can you dare to go a little further than the edge? Maybe your fall, embrace that too. 15 seconds, reach up to the toes, kick the foot into the hand. Five, four, go to the edge now, go to the edge. And so much titi he, hands in front of the heart, Close your eyes and just notice. Notice your heart rate, notice your breath, notice the temperature and notice and observe your mind. Let the thoughts in your mind be kind. You can train your mind, you can train your brain. And when you see or you observe the brain, Think in competitive ways or comparative ways. Just go, uh-uh, no brain. That's not how I want you to see the world. You can alter that as well. Inhale, high mountain yogis. You're amazing. Enjoy each breath, each movement. Exhale, fold forward, relax. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Flex to downward facing dog, exhale, quite a lot of back bends today, which is lovely, so you'll have a nice open heart space. Ripple forward, breathe in. Hanging cobra, breathe out. Hold, inhale, right knee to your nose, exhale. Three legged dog, lengthen. Half pigeon, right knee to the right wrist. Left foot comes a little forward and slide your left knee back. It is breezing here today. I don't know why, so I'm going to put my jersey back. Also, my top is quite a summery top. I just felt like summery colors this morning. Yes. Half pigeon. And you can come down to your elbows. You can even use a pillow or a block for your head. Make it comfy. Mm. 
Well done. Four more rounds of breath. Different people, different options. You can bring your hands under your shoulders, stay here. Or you can lift your left foot, hold on to the foot, and that might be enough for you to already feel quite an intense stretch on the left quadricep. If you want more, you can bring it in. For some of us, you, you are quite open. You can try to bring your toe towards your elbow. Then the toes kind of are very active. I'm opening them up. Maybe you can hold on to the fingers. Try, rather than sinking into the floor, try to lift and lift up, 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 up. All right, slowly let go. Roll onto your right buttock. I'll change legs so I'm mirroring you. We're coming to Janusha Sasana, so it's your left leg that is to the side and your right foot is in. Yes, bring your arms up to the sky, look at your left foot and then come over. Lengthen the crown forward rather than down on each inhale. So you're trying to create length, the heart reaches forward towards the toes, the crown reaches forward towards just above the toes as well. Bring the arms up above you, feel the grounding through both sit bones and then twist over to your right side, exhale. Lift the gaze a little or even close your eyes. Notice the length and the softness in the back of your neck. Bring breath in if you've accidentally forgotten the importance of the breath in yoga. And that's all right. It's totally natural to not be able to focus on, the, on your breath all the time. Just catch yourself. Arms back up to the sky. Inhale. And then bring your right hand down to the floor, exhale. Reach to the left fingertips, lift all the way up. One more deep breath in. Slowly bring your hips back down towards the floor. Your left leg continues over and across. And then here we can come to the twist to the other side. Sit bones ground and then try to have your heart above those grounding sit bones. And then from the navel up, you twist over. Inhale to release. Exhale for a counter twist. Let your head be heavy. Nice, Marily. Slowly roll up. Unhook your feet a little. Bridge pose, wheel or supported bridge pose, round number one. So you can bring your feet really close to your heels. Supported bridge would be lifting the hips and just placing something under the hips and then let the hips lean onto uh, your block or your pillow. Normal bridge pose, lift your hips, you can interlace your fingers. We are quite open from a back, uh, back bend perspective. So if you feel like you want more, place your hands next to your ear and come into your wheel pose. Soften in the effort. Try to focus on your breath. Two more rounds of breath. When you come down, each vertebra, first the chin in, and then it's the upper back vertebra, the lower back, middle back, pause. Pause, just lie still. 
Try not to fiddle. The feet are in the right place. It doesn't matter. Just feel the energy, the heart rate. <sighs> Windshield your knees a little from right to left, left to right. Gently hug your knees into chest and rock and roll forward. We'll meet in a down dog in around four to six rounds of breath. Or you can simply come into Uttanasana, maybe you don't need your hands. Step back to plank pose, from plank pose to downward facing dog. Heels lift, ripple the spine forward, take an inhale, strong legs still, hanging cobra, stay in your body, even though we're getting to the end, take an inhale here, left knee to your nose, exhale, three-legged dog, lift your left leg up, look at the hands, have pigeon, knee to the left wrist, pause, bring the foot across, you land onto your shin diagonally, and then walk your right toes backwards, 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 until you find that sweet point. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. Elbows down to the floor. Soften. You can go where you can breathe most freely and just have a smile on your face. Inhale to lift your head and walk your hands a little closer. <clears throat> if you want to try the hook of the elbow into um, hook of toes and elbows, it might be easier if you bring the foot a little bit closer because that's easier to press into the shin and lift up later. All right, so her left hand to the center. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you bring the heel a little closer to the outside of the right bum. Or you open the hand here and then the toe slides, slides, slides to the elbow. I am drawing my right knee in. In, so I'm lifting up. From there you reach up. Ooh, this side is a little bit tighter. You can feel the difference. It's cold today. That's all right. Keep breathing. Keep the gaze on the horizon. One more deep breath in. Slowly, gently let go. That's a space in between as well. And then roll over to your left buttock. I'm going to change legs again. So I stay in a mirror, um, mirror image for you. Easier to follow. Janur Sushasana, sit bones grant. Active right toes, reach up to the sky. And then fold over your right leg. Remember, each inhale lengthens your spine. Ground your sit bones and each exhale is just a simple softness. So there is a little bit of intention behind your inhale. You want to lengthen. More space. Exhale is a softness into the effort. Feel free to close your eyes. Soften the skin on your face. Soften your jaw. Inhale, bring the arms up. Bring your chest up. Feel the grounding through the sit bones. And then twist, 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 twist. Over to the other side. Hand on the outside of the knee. Sometimes here we have a tendency to roll towards our left sit bone. So ground your right sit bone as well. Yeah, and then heart is above you too. Above the pelvis, above the sit, two sit bones, and then open and twist. Inhale, look to the front, release your hands, lovely yogis. 
arms up, left hand down, press into your shin, press, ground the right foot, even press through that big toe of the right foot, oh this is so nice, feel the openness all along that right line of the front body, take another bit, big breath in, softly land your bum back down, both sit bones grounded, right foot can cross near to the knee or a little bit further, just the sit bones are grounded, that's the most important thing, grow tall from the sit bones up and then twist over to your other side. Inhale, look forward, exhale, come all the way over to the other side and you can kind of let your head be heavy and surrender to the floor. Lift back up, come onto your back, bridge pose, supported bridge pose or wheel, round number two. And after that, uh, it's almost Shavasana time. So just pick an option that works for you this morning. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly vertebra by vertebra and then lie still. I know there's a tendency of wanting to move. Just lie still and feel. Close your eyes and feel. Maybe sigh. Just use your breath to calm down your central nervous system. Bring both knees over to the left for a short spinal twist. Soften your toes, soften your ankles. Notice your breath. Breathe all the way down to your belly. And then change sides, knees come over to the other side such a nice energy. It's funny, even though I'm obviously alone here, there is an energy in the air and there is an energy. The fact that we started laughing and giggling and it just brings some joy and that, that is a, has a ripple effect on your practice. So everything is linked together. Knees back into chest. Hug your knees in and then with your eyes closed, just bring a, a, a loving, kind, grateful thought in your mind. I am grateful for, and then it could be a friend, it could be the fact that you're on holiday, for your pet, for your health. And with that kind and loving, grateful thought, moving to Shavasana, legs go nice and white. I'll be your timekeeper so you don't have to worry about anything. Just let go, be soft. Use a blankie, you can even put something over your eyes to make it darker, like a towel or something. <clears throat> Meditative seat is also fine, just a little bit of stillness. Stillness and breath creates clarity of the mind, a sense of surrender. Shavasana, let go.
you are in a really peaceful place and the first kind of thought that pops up in your mind is like, oh, already, no, then just stay. Just stay, stay a little longer. If you are ready to slowly waken the body, bring some movement into the fingers and the toes. A nice way is also to just bring your chin over to one shoulder so you're rolling over the back of the skull, activating the neck muscles first. There's so many different ways to slowly move out of Shavasana. Take your time. I would suggest to keep your eyes closed and feel the little bones in your hands and fingers. A deep breath in and a sigh out. They're all lovely ways to just feel into the body. And then when you want bigger movements, start with a stretch. So bring your arms over your head. Ooh, stretch your arms overhead. Maybe even point your toes far, far away to the, to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in and then hug your knees into your chest. A nice big hug. Soft rock and roll from left to right, massaging the lower back and the pelvis. And from there, roll over to the side. Take a moment on your side to just feel. I hope you have a smile on your face. And then from there, come back up to a seated and we'll just place our hands in front of our, on top of our chest, acknowledging our heart space. All the loved ones that have already crossed our path that we've been able to share moments of joy, moments of sadness, how we share our lives with people. And that's a choice. The people we spend our time with really determines how we look out into the world. So be grateful for positive, loving, kind friends and family, pets and animals, Grateful for each day, grateful for each moment. Palms together in front of our beautiful heart. From my very grateful heart to yours, I see your light. Namaste.